Hey, Miss Marcy. Just wanted to take a quick video for you to give you a better understanding of what's going on up here on the roof. So this is a newer addition. I could tell by the age of the shingles. Um, and then we've got the existing roof right here. So these shingles are going to be older. Um, and there are a couple, well, quite a few places that I know there's minimal amount of water intrusion going on. One of which is actually right here. You can see that this is all exposed. And this is actually wood you're seeing right there. Um, so there's no doubt some water getting in right there. No doubt that there's water getting in right here. This lead boot is the flashing for this pipe. So anything in between, which is basically all the way around where the squirrels have filed their teeth down on this. So essentially that's a leak. Water can get in between the two and be going right down into the wall. Um, my main concern for you on this roof is the age of these shingles. And there are several areas where we can see that literally the tab is just completely gone. No adhesion whatsoever. So nothing stopping wind from getting under here and lifting this up. And this has been going on so long that you can literally see that the nails have rusted out. Um, here again, no adhesion whatsoever. Rusted nails, no adhesion. That one's adhered. That one's got a little bit hanging on, but you can see that it's just barely hanging on. And again, there's been moisture underneath these. Um, and I did also see over here, I guess this area had been repaired in the past. Um, there's a literally a decking nail backed out, you can see. Uh, but again, you know, my main concern for you, and you can look from right here, you can see that that's not adhered, that, that, that. It's gonna be time for a new system. Um, see, that's just flapping in the wind. And these are only gonna progressively get worse. So what I would propose, see that's just lifting right up. Um, what I would propose would be to go ahead and budget out a new roof as opposed to repairs. Um, and what I would do is I would propose to remove this power vent and put you a more functional ridge vent all the way across all of these ridges to allow as much heat and moisture out of the attic as possible. It's going to keep you cooler in the summertime, but it's also going to help the life of the roof. You see here, those are just lifting right up. And they should not be doing that at all. Um, these shingles over here are a little newer, but unfortunately now that these two roof lines tie in together, code will require us to remove and replace every bit of this and um, I did see too that see these are losing adhesion too in the beginning stages that one has no adhesion no adhesion no adhesion no adhesion no adhesion no adhesion that one's adhered just a little bit so hopefully that gives you a better idea and um, again, thank you so much for the opportunity.